realize that doing virtual meet and greets is not the most ideal of situations. You know, the adopter can't meet the dog one-on-one -on -one and vice versa. But with all the restrictions, it's just right now the safest way to do it and still keep moving forward. Hello. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> hi. Um, how are you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, um, thank you. Today, I am doing a virtual meet and greet with Maria and her family so they can see Deuces. Deuces got his pictures on the website and he doesn't really get a lot of applications on him. He just gets passed up on like so many of our other dogs that we sit and wonder, you know, why we just haven't had anybody come along who has felt like he was the dog for them. So it's pretty sweet that Marie and her family feel so strongly about him specifically. All right, so I, you know, you guys are past adopters, um, but it's it's been a while. How long ago was it that I brought Calista to you guys? We got Calista four and a half years ago. Okay, yeah. My name is Maria, and I'm from California. I started volunteering with Via Lobos when they were in California. I used to walk the dogs with my daughter and sometimes my husband and son would join me. Callista became part of our lives and she was the best thing that ever happened to us. She was the perfect dog at the right time for me. I was dealing with uh, an issue with my mom passing away. And so Callista was a sense of comfort for us. I loved her with all my heart. So when she got sick, you know, it, it was, uh, it was very hard. She was diagnosed with an enlarged heart. She had a mass on her spleen, and she also had a deteriorating spine. It was, you know, coming towards the end. She started slowing down a lot more. We called the doctor, and then he came to the house, held her. It was her time. and. She passed with us. We were able to give her the life that she deserved. She was, you know, loved and she loved us so much. And rescuing a senior dog was probably one of the greatest gifts that we could have ever had. So we knew we wanted to do that again. Tell us just about your lifestyle. Has anything changed in your lives since Callista that would make things different for the next dog? Uh, no, nothing's, nothing's changed. It's, just, it's a lot quieter, it's emptier. Oh. Calista's been gone. Yeah, I'm sure. I know she had a big presence. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. So what's life like for you guys right now? Um, he goes to school, Okay. she works. Okay. So I'm home most of the day. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. Is there anything specific you want to be able to do with this next dog that you guys weren't able to do with Calista? Maybe run. I like to run a lot. So okay. Maybe a dog that can run. Okay. Before. We found out about Deuce through the website, and I immediately fell in love. I showed my daughter, and she was just like, oh my gosh, we have to get him. On the pictures, they really show him running around and jumping, and I knew that that was the complete opposite of what we had with Callista. And I know that my, my daughter and my son both as much as they tried to play with Callista, it was on her terms only. And so we liked his energy. I know we've been talking a lot about deuces and he can definitely run. <laughs> he definitely still has good energy. <laughs> like it's shocking that he's a little bit of an older dog just because he's in such great shape. He looks like he's like three. Perfect. Deuces definitely still has the stamina to be able to go running. He doesn't have any health issues. His body is still in really great shape, so he would probably make a great running partner. All right, you guys want to see yeah. him? Yes. OK, all right. Elise, bring the dew. <laughs> dew, come on. Dew, dew. He's taking Elise for a walk. <laughs> dew? It's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. I do. <laughs> you have to actually get in the camera. Oh Say hi. Hi, hi Maria. Oh. Say hi. I know this is weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hi, Timmy. <laughs> He's really hyper. He's got energy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys ready for that? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a complete opposite of what we had before. Yeah, it's gonna be completely different from Callista. When we met him, we saw that personality just pop right out of the screen and oh my gosh. He was like bouncing all around and <laughs> he was just so full of life and it was what we needed. I love him. He's in there. We like to go for walks around the park a lot and hopefully we'll get to take him to the beach. So we are looking to be a little bit more active with deuces. Oh my gosh. Oh, did you see his face? Oh, He's trying to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> deuces, look at your tongue. I definitely felt a connection when I saw him. Seeing Deuces for the first time was very enjoyable. and I love him. I already love him. <laughs> Deuces, based on the energy, you could just tell he was perfect for us. <laughs> I think you guys are going to love him. I think you're going to have a fun time with him. going to have so much fun. I knew that this family already really loved Deuces, but after seeing their reaction to him today, I know that he's definitely the dog for them. I can tell they're just so excited and they really enjoyed seeing him. <laughs> they thought that everything he was doing was just adorable and it was. So I think that after this virtual meet and greet, Deuces is on his way to his forever home. All right, guys. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yes, we'll keep you posted on his progress in Elisa's house and she'll definitely yeah. give you updates. Okay. All right. Well, it was so nice to see you guys again, and we look forward to bringing deuces to you. Thank you. Same here. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. Well, bye. Oh. Oh. <laughs> deuces. No. Oh, deuces. <laughs> 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 Girl, we want to take that in see you. Come here, baby. Come on, buddy. Deuce, good boy. Good I'm boy, taking Deuce. him. Every dog got day day, and your day is here. After eight or nine long years of Deuce's being with us, today is the day that he finally gets to leave Villalobos and go on the opposite side of the country for his potential home in California. All right, come on. Good boy, Deuce. Say hi. hi. Oh, my <laughs> what makes this adoption even more special is that Maria was actually a volunteer when Villalobos was in Southern California. Not only that, she is a previous adopter, so this whole thing's special. Come here, honey bunny. I know it's hot. Come on, baby. Good boy. She's potentially adopting a dog that is really special to us and is really deserving of finally having his own home. Just the thought of a dog being at the rescue for nine years is heartbreaking. And he didn't let it break him. He is still just the sweetest, like, happiest dog. You ready, honey bunny? Having someone that has such a connection with the rescue already adopting him makes it that much more special. Cute. Today we are in California doing Deuce's home check. So I'm hoping that the whole family has that connection in person as they did virtually. Deucey, you ready? Because these are previous adopters and they actually adopted a really special dog from us years ago named Callista, the only reason we do these home checks again with previous adopters is just to make sure that there's nothing that's popped up that we need to work on them with. Hi guys, Hi. how are you? I'm sorry right. I can't hug you right now. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Are you guys excited? Oh, yes. yeah. Waiting for Deuces to get here, it's brought me back to childhood, waiting for Santa Claus to come. <laughs> We've been impatiently waiting, but it's given us time to get ready for him, and we bought him new leashes, collars, dog bowls, all of that stuff, new bed. This is so cool. <laughs> These two made it. Did you really? Yeah. Once we found out that Deuces was going to be our next addition to the family, we started prepping right away. And with the help of my son, we built Deuces a crate. And this is amazing. Great. It's just latches. That's so cool. He is really good in his crate, so that's a mansion for him. Their house was already set up for a dog. This is triple the size that Deuces is used to, so he has a mansion inside of his own house. 
Why don't we go outside? I'm gonna check the yard first and then we'll sit down and talk since we can't do it inside. Oh my gosh, that's succulent. I'm gonna check the fence and then we can sit down. Okay. Okay. Okay, so with this gate, will you guys put a clip on it for me though? Oh yeah, we have a lock. You have one? This well, one I'm saying even when it, when it locks, put a clip on it because then he's a tall dog. Just so that you don't have a chance of anything happening. Yeah. Okay. I normally just use a carabiner. It's cheap, get it at the dollar store, stick it through there. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fence looks great though. Is there a gate back here also? No, no. this oh. is the closest dog run. Easy. So you no guys got this it. stuff handled. The backyard is beyond what I could have asked for him. The fence is extremely secure. They have the whole bottom of the wood fence lined up again so he can't even try and push out the bottom. So everything looks perfect for him. Had him for eight years. It's a long time for a dog to be in a kennel waiting to find a home. It probably feels <laughs> weird not having a dog, huh? Oh, really? We didn't have a dog for so long and then we had Callista and it was just like... She was a special one. It was meant to be. Yeah. Losing her, it was so weird because it was like, we could still hear like the sounds of her crate, you know, uh -huh. creaking. It was not the same, not yep. hearing her snore, none of that. It was just- It was it, too quiet. And we still walk every night at the same time that we would walk her. Yeah. And we still take her leash or her collar oh, with us. Oh, you guys, stop! So <laughs> we're still gonna continue that when, we, when Deuces goes with us. I am really excited. I can't wait to meet him finally face to face, nose to nose. <laughs> we're just ready to have him in our home. He was so easy on this trip. Oh. He's a, a wax daisy dude, but he'll still run around. He's confident, and I like it. Having a dog that's been with us for that long, and then hearing that he finally got a home. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys want to meet him? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go get him. I'll bring him through the gate, and then we can just shut it after. Okay. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous whether or not deuces may be comfortable with us or not. Watch him come running around the corner. I know. Just because Calissa took her a little bit of time. You ready, Bubba? But I know that once Deuces gets here, he's going to be welcomed, and I believe he will know that this is his home, too. He's going to come to me first. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. I think he's going to come to Ollie. And now that we're finally getting Deuces, I'm really excited because we're finally going to have a dog in our house. It won't be as quiet anymore. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. gonna, what if he jumps on, like, jumps in your finger? Come here, baby. Oh, here he comes. All right. Oh, here he comes. Oh, my oh, goodness. Hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh, I love you. I was a little bit nervous, but when Deuces came around the corner, everything just turned to happiness. It was really exciting. Hi, lovey. Hi. He's so chill right now. Just seeing him in person, it was, it was exciting. And he was such a sweetheart, a total sweetheart. Going from eight years in a kennel to this is, I'm sure, a little, a little much for any dog or person. What do you think of your new brother? I was very happy. I'm glad he has a home now. Instead of, you know, being in a kennel, now he has an actual home, has a family. What do you guys think? Like him? <laughs> yes. Keeper? Yes. You guys have a dog again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deuce's life here, I think, is going to be a huge improvement. He's gonna be able to run free here in the backyard. He's gonna have, you know, a home that loves him. He's gonna be able to, you know, live out the best of his years here. You wanna go see your home? You ready? Wanna come in? Go, go, go. Come on. Go, I'm go. excited. What is all this, dude? He's exploring. You wanna go in? What is that? You got a mansion and all these friggin' LED lights in there. It's nicer than my bedroom, buddy. You like your new bed? When Deuces noticed his crate, I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh, is he going to like it? Is he not going to like it? But once he was in there, we're like, oh, yeah, he, he's comfortable in there. <laughs> Even that sound we missed. <laughs> <laughs> having another dog back in the house again after months of not having Calista around, hearing those sounds once again, <laughs> that was a fun sound to hear. Well, that was easy, so I think I can say bye. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Let me know if you guys need anything. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want all the pictures. We'll send them to you, definitely. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>